Hey, my name is George Osborne. Welcome to this video. We're going to be playing some Reigns. Now, what is Reigns? Well, Reigns is, according to the developer who I met yesterday, Tinder meets Game of Thrones. But what exactly does that mean? Well, I'm going to dive in. And I'm going to try and show you. Essentially, what it means is that you've got choices. You can either go yes or no to anything. And you've got to run your medieval kingdom. There's four things at the top. There's the church, the people, the army, and the funds. You've got to make sure you keep those in balance because if any of those become too powerful or too weak, then your king's going to get deposed. But it might seem a little bit strange, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play it for a bit just to show you what to do. So am I the young king? Uh, yes, I am. I only talk to the king. If you're not the king, I'm going back to sleep. Ah, oh, good night. I'm going to say good night. Spirit looks at you thoughtfully, then disappears. You enter the throne room. Okay, so we've made some choices here. So we want justice. A fine company of your drunken soldiers ransacked an abbey. Well, I'm going to give them justice because I don't think the army should be behaving like that. Um, need some help from the army because there's too many people. I don't want to kill too many people, so that's okay. Would you like to marry the... Would I? Uh, yes, I would. So as you can see, what's just happened there. I just married the princess and everything has just done really, really well. So you can see that everything bumps up. And if you want to try and make your decision more effectively, then you can just hold as it's suggested to see what you can do. So the estuary of the river drop is a dangerous swamp for travelers. We should sanitize the whole area. So if you go no, that's going to affect the people. Whereas if you do yes, it's going to affect the currency and the people. So I'm going to go and do that because I think it's the right thing to do. Beggars are invading the streets. Oh, I'm not going to put up with beggars. We're throwing them out. We're throwing them out. But we've managed to survive for five years, so that's that's good so far. It was con it's killed at least 100 people. Should we continue to dig? Yeah, we'll do it. We need to make a bit more money. A great fire is destroying your castle, my lord. Um, well, the, the, I think the treasury's got all enough money, so I'm going to save the garrison. Um, raise a new tax for the church. So as you can see, like, look, you've got different people coming to you all the time. So I've got, this time there's a priesty man, so I'm going to raise a new tax. Um... And you've got that decision to basically try and positively impact what they're doing. And and because you've only got this simple yes-no mechanic, it's kind of difficult to know what impact your actions are going to have. So as you can see, I'm dangling a little bit low. There's a cholera outbreak in the capital with the Blue Death. So what am I going to do? I'm going to close the castle gates. I'm going to try closing the castle gates to see what happens. See, look, there we go. There's people are famished and unrest is spreading. And then what? And when you see this double what, then that basically means bad things are coming and that's it castles ransacked your court disperses and you're left with pigeons to rule over so that's a little bit rubbish uh, the people are gone everyone is dead and Baduin the young who spent 10 years in power is done that's it so that would be normally like where a game like this would end you know you'd think well what more is there to come from this but just watch this All right We've got a timeline, and now there's a new king, a new king with some new objectives. And so when you're playing this game, what you're trying to do is not just survive and not just live on the throne. You're building your own monarchy, I guess. You're building your own line. So you've now got Gerald, who's following the footsteps of his father. And, you know, not again. Oh, not again. Um, and so what happens is you have the spirit, and he's basically explaining this point to you that everything that you do you know it's basically going to have an impact on what you do um does it ever forget interesting lack of faith i'd love to be free though me too i'd like to be free as well free to do what i want to do so anyway i'm back in i'm back in i've got these choices what am i going to do with lady charlotte should i organize a curfew or not these are the kind of things like these are sort of those decisions that you've got to make so i'm gonna i'm gonna organize a curfew um we need to build a new church um well religion's quite happy so I'm going to say, don't we have enough? You know, see what's happened. And then we've got the peasants. They're back. Gerald's managed to survive three years in power so far. What do we want to do with this income? Let's share it. Let's keep everyone happy. Oh, okay. uh -oh. under the banner of a terrible warlord, send the army. I think we're going to have to send the army to deal with this. Your fortress is too weak. Oh. See, this is it. You're presented with these challenges all the time. And it means that you can quickly, quickly progress through the game and sweep things. Um... Uh, I'm going to arrange a marriage. There we go. Um, I'm not going to try and recruit too many more soldiers. But I think what's really interesting, and I was talking to the developer about this, what they're trying to show with this 
it's the kind of the limitations of power like you might say or you might feel like you've got lots of options but actually when it comes down to it you're coming down to yes no decisions so you know like instead of being given these these subtle options which can have a lot of impact you're making these small decisions that could have a big impact uh, but they might not you don't really know so the message says islanders are menacing us we should attack them before they attack us um i don't know we're not going to attack them okay and then you've got to make these hard decisions um i can't help people oh no helping people out oh no merchants and nobility own everything oh we've been forced into xr that's a shame so that's another king who's only lasted 11 years but my story is evolving and i think what's made reigns really good so you know this is the first time that i've played it as you can obviously see on my device i've started afresh i've started from basically yeah a new starting point but when i was playing it yesterday i was getting to see how you know hundreds of years play out how loads of different people come in and just how the game just goes and heads out and evolves and i think what's really interesting is the way that you get this sense of story so you know one person's corrupted by the oligarchy so far the other person's let the people down what's going to happen with king harry is king harry going to be a more benevolent king well let's do this fast final one and we'll see how it goes so build a school in the capital for the enlightenment of the people <laughs> lol a school yeah right no way um and the queen herself is offering you 40 books no i don't want books oh a ship has been quarantined it may be the plague shall we quarantine the whole port so what i want to do here is i want to be a despot who is not particularly concerned with the literature or the advancement of his people but will be ruling with hopefully an iron fist so shall we quarantine the port no we won't do that no other ships presented with the disease we're safe let's do business again yay there's been a massive breakout from the prison yeah we need to do a search party you know we're not going to let the people get away with that the east and the south coordinate attack against the kingdom should we ask the west for help Yes, we're going to have to ask for help to keep ourselves going. A convent of nuns has started meowing like cats. It's spreading to the villages. General? Why would I care? Oh, why do I care? All oh, right, no, I can't can't deal with that, I'm afraid. You send the army to stop the nun meowing churches. The church is embarrassed but approves. Nice. You need to stop those nuns before they start meowing. It's just too weird. Oh. Following the dog. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going into the caravan. King and no one. A king. In front of him lay ruins. At the end of all things, the islander will play his role. Oh, and look, that's it. That's something else that happens. So that when you end up doing something well, you end up getting new cards. So let's let's keep on going. There'll be six hundred gold pieces. Now nah, you're a crook. Conduct a mass to the memory of your father. Yes. Nice one, Dad. Yeah, I'll do that. Everyone gets happy on that. Your wife is secretly in love with someone else. Who? Would you like to play? Oh, you see, this is it. This is what's interesting. I've not ever received this. So my slightly maniacal guy is now like, uh, well, what's he? What's going on with this guy? Is he, is he being cheated on? Stop with a small bit. I don't want to ruin you. Okay, I'll play this. I'll play your game. I'm pretty sure I won. Show me. Goblet revealing two dice. No, I don't want to play with you again. The peasants are revolting. The large group of people are around taking the capital. Your army is over. Yeah, we're reinforcing the army. Oh, so what impact will it have? Yes, let's have a peace treaty. A village in the south is encouraging polygamy. Send the army. We're going to deal with the army. That, that's it. That's the obvious choice. I don't know if you maybe wanted to send the church. That could also have been the obvious choice. I'm not sure. Um, a good doctor just saved the life of my nephew. He's a bit magician. He's here now. Oh, let him in because that's one of the achievements. Recruit the doctor. I'm a doctor, alchemist, poisoner. I can handle life for you or death occasionally. Ah, so this is it. So the more people you get to reorient it in you, the more that you can basically keep keep yourself alive the more successful you can do it what are the options we could appoint sir godfrey to govern that region and make him pay for the privilege oh interesting because master farrington's giving me an idea yes i'll let him pay for the privilege hmm, what am i gonna do be strong be fair be strong be fair be, be strong be strong 
The mountainous region is now corrupt as well as unruly. Ah, that was quick. Oh dear. Um, large horde of half bandits. Should I send the army? Yes, we have a fairly strong army. Tell me where the bandits' treasure is. Yes. No, oh, rubbish. The river drop is dry again. You see, this is it. This is really good fun. This is really interesting. I don't know if you're you're getting it but by coming across, but I'm really invested in these decisions. Um, yeah, we should build a dam. The Vikings to access to water. Oh, what does that mean? Yes, let's do that. It's been seen in the General Pollard. Oh my God. Well. Uh, the Queen. There you go. Uh, I, I, ultimately, when it comes down to it, you've got to back the army in these situations. I see the Philosopher enclosed in the heart of the Crusade. Of course. Don't! I'm going to raise it slightly. We've got to do. You're my executioner. If I could. Oh... Oh, what do I do? All right, I'm gonna let him do that. Oh, I've managed to survive for 20 years. This is a this is a new record. I heard strange noises in the castle last night. We should have more guards patrolling. No, we can't really afford that, can we? I could be the executioner. Doctor, what are you talking about? To test exotic new poisons, I can pay. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, jeez. Damn it! Damn you, Doctor. Damn you to heck. But still, Harry the Old. There we go. You see, not only did I survive, I survived a lot longer. And so William is the next king. Long live the king. I mean, this does genuinely feel quite Game of Thronesy, you know. And it's that sort of brilliant moment where you're kind of like, oh, and you get to look at all of these objectives and see how well you've survived. And yeah, it does feel like it. And you can actually start role playing as a character, which I think is really impressive. And you can start pretending that your king behaves in a certain way and see how that plays out. And it's all with yes, no decisions. Um, and I mean, I love the style of it as well. Reigns is looking, as you can see, fantastic. And it's interesting. And it's not just out on mobile, um, though it's going to be out on iOS and Android next week. It's also going to be out on Steam, so you PC players can play it as well. And in general, I'd recommend that when it comes out on the 11th of August, I'd recommend giving it a go because this is a very, very interesting little game. And for any of you who are history buffs, Game of Thrones fans, or just someone who just enjoys watching as their kingdom steadily falls apart, then this is going to be a great game for you. All right. See you later, guys.